Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove, and in this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Admiral Wilson documents, otherwise known as the Wilson Davis documents, or simply the EWD notes. What follows is a few minutes of introduction for the benefit of those who are unfamiliar with this subject, and who are perhaps short on time and don't want to spend hours trawling the internet trying to make sense of this particular subject. The Admiral Wilson documents have been described by the leading researcher and ufologist Richard Dolan as, quote, the most significant leak of UFO-related documents in many years, unquote. And we are indebted to Richard and several other dedicated researchers for their investigation, clarification, and explanations as to the implications of the contents of these documents. Richard and other researchers have published articles and videos about these documents and by so doing have created a treasure trove for researchers. In this video I will try to answer the who, what, where, when and why of these documents. So let's get started. Who is Admiral Wilson? Thomas Ray Wilson, born March 4, 1946, is a retired Vice Admiral in the US Navy. He was the 13th Director of the Defense Intelligence Agency from 1999 until 2002. Prior to this position, from 1997 to 1999, he served as Director of Intelligence for the Joint Chiefs of Staff and Deputy Director of Intelligence for the Joint Chiefs, a position known as J2. He retired from the Navy in 2002, having served since 1968. What then are the Admiral Wilson documents? The Admiral Wilson documents are 13 pages of notes written by Dr. Eric Davis in October 2002 after a two-hour meeting he had recently had with Admiral Wilson, during which they discussed UFOs, MJ-12, Roswell, crashed UFOs and alien bodies. They also include a copy of a two-page letter from Commander Willard Miller to Eric Davis dated April 25, 2002, in which UFOs, UFO crash retrievals and Area 51 are mentioned. In the spring of 1997, when Admiral Wilson was still Deputy Director of Intelligence for the Joint Chiefs of Staff, a series of events occurred and these notes go some way in explaining what happened during those events. The importance of the notes is that they confirm what was discussed, namely the existence of projects that were created for the purpose of studying extraterrestrial technology and extraterrestrials themselves. For example, a meeting in April 1997 in which were present Dr. Stephen Greer, researcher and author, Dr. Edgar Mitchell, Apollo 14 astronaut and sixth man to walk on the moon, and US Navy Lieutenant Commander Willard Miller. The subjects discussed during this meeting included the existence of highly secretive private organizations tasked with studying the technology and ET bodies retrieved from crashed UFOs for the purpose of reverse engineering the technology in order to understand it and to make use of it. The notes later go on to present the thesis of the book, The Day After Roswell. This book explains how today's integrated circuit chips, fiber optics, lasers and super tenacity fibers were seeded into the public domain by reverse engineered alien technology. Where were they discovered? The Admiral Wilson documents were discovered among the personal effects of the late Dr. Edgar Mitchell who died in February 2016. Edgar Mitchell is well known for many things. Not only was he one of the few people to have walked on the moon, but he was also a US Navy captain and an MIT trained aeronautics engineer. During a long and distinguished career, he was a recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the NASA Distinguished Service Award, and a 2005 nominee for the Nobel Peace Prize and many other awards. 
After his career as an astronaut, he dedicated his life to increasing our scientific understanding of the nature of consciousness. He was also a scientific advisor for NIDS, the National Institute for Discovery Sciences, which was founded by the aerospace billionaire Robert Bigelow. Robert Bigelow was, for 20 years, the owner of the Skinwalker Ranch. His company, Bigelow Aerospace Advanced Space Studies, was awarded a contract by ATIP, Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, the US Department of Defense funded program headed by Louis Elizondo, tasked with studying UFOs or Unexplained Aerial Phenomena, UAP. When were they discovered? As I mentioned earlier, the Admiral Wilson documents were discovered in 2016, although they may have been shown to some researchers earlier than that. They've only recently been brought into the light for open examination after they were uploaded onto the internet. The timing may be significant, and we may yet learn why they are only now freely available and open to public scrutiny. Perhaps there is some significance in light of the developments since the revelations about the Nimitz and Roosevelt incidents. These have been widely covered by the investigations by the TTSA to the Stars Academy and subsequent documentaries like Unidentified on the History Channel. It's worth noting that the author of the notes, Dr. Eric Davis, is a close associate of Dr. Hal Putoff, one of the members of the TTSA team. Dr. Putoff has been researching UFOs, remote viewing and other related subjects for decades and he is mentioned in the documents. So why are the Admiral Wilson documents important? They are explosive because they provide further evidence and vindication for what had previously been earnest assertions by witnesses. For example, at the bottom of page one of the documents, we see confirmation that with regard to MJ-12, UFO, Cabal, crashed UFO, that there is such an organization in existence. The implications of these documents cannot be overestimated. They are a vital piece of evidence that the US military did indeed retrieve a crashed alien spacecraft on at least one occasion that highly secretive and unaccountable special access projects were established with the express purpose of reverse engineering the craft in order to learn their technological secrets. A few crumbs of the results were seeded into society, as explained in Colonel Philip J. Corso's book The Day After Roswell, but the vast majority of people on Earth remain in a state of ignorance, kept in the dark, and dependent on an oil-based economy while continuing to pay the taxes that are siphoned off to fund these top-secret black projects. The projects are so secret that even here today, gone tomorrow, presidents and prime ministers are probably unaware of their existence. Those in power who have tried to uncover these secrets have been dissuaded or scared off. And there are those who maintain them for all kinds of reasons. This short introduction cannot do justice to the significance and material contained within the documents, so I strongly suggest you listen to Richard Dolan's and other videos on this topic for the full analysis and the implications of the contents. I've added two links to such videos below. You may need to take notes as you go through them. I will leave you with more of Richard Dolan's words on this subject. What we have ultimately is a very powerful statement of a small group of people. Eric Davis, Hal Putoff, Kit Green, Edgar Mitchell, and a few others, no doubt, quietly working hard to learn as much as they could about the deep nature of the UFO cover-up, and truly hitting pay dirt with Admiral Wilson. Keep watching the skies. Thanks for watching, but don't go yet as I have an important request. Please consider doing one or more of the following. If you'd like me to create a video for you to promote your products or services, go to redspan.com and use the contact form or just leave a comment below.
do the same if the sound of my voice is a fit for your voiceover needs. If you'd like to sponsor more videos like this, go to patreon.com forward slash redspan. Your donation, however small, will help me to improve both the quality and the quantity of my videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with others. If you have any opinions, questions or feedback, please post a comment. Finally, subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified of new similar videos. Thank you for your kind attention.